Well, hello, a very good evening to you. Happy Sunday. Have you had a lovely day so far? I hope you managed to get a little bit of fresh air in your hours allowance there or sat in your garden. And now you're ready for your one day special. I'm Rachel, by the way. Thank you for joining us. So I'm going to start by saying something a little bit controversial. Don't buy the one day special. Don't. Don't. Um, this is a one day special. This is a one day special. And the next collection is a one day special. And the one after that is a one day special. Don't, no, don't buy those four individual collections yet because I've got to tell you something. <laughs> if you buy the entire collection, the saving is tremendous. Let me just talk you through it. And then we're going to talk about them, obviously. And we've got the lovely Paul joining us on the phone. But I just want to talk money, first of all, because I don't want you to miss out. The first option, I'll give you the details. There you go. It's called Fabric Pattern. And it is 755196. It is 2997. Instead of 45 pounds near enough, you are saving yourself 15 pounds. And it's a lovely collection, as you can see there. These are all dies, by the way, fresh cut dies. So that's that one. That's a one day special. The next one day special we've got, because one day specials always have savings, has got another lovely saving of 15 pounds. This one is called geometric patterns. And you can see there some lovely patterns that you can play with to create those amazing backgrounds, 755196. The next one day special is called structured patterns. Again, it's a 15 pound saving until tomorrow at six o'clock because our one day specials always end at six o'clock, 24 hours later. So you're saving 15 pounds if you would like to get these three. Perfect. Again, lovely patterns. 755196. Let's go swirly and doily here because this is called swirly and swirls and doils. <laughs> doilies 755196 your item number love those that's my favorite one i love the swirls i love the big bubbles they're fabulous 755196 again a 15 pound saving 2997 so you might be saying rachel why are you saying not buy because 15 pounds as a saving is brilliant and i like those and that's 15 pound saving and i like those and that's a 15 pound saving and i like those ah now for those of you who have just said i like those 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 and those guess what we're going to give you £15 saving on each of them. We'll just buy them individually then. No, don't. Use a different item number. Get yourself a £60 saving, which is what I've just described. And then a further £20 off. So you can see now, if you buy them all, the saving is even better. So instead of £120 near enough, it's £99.88. And it's on three flexes. So today, 33.29. So your first of three payments, 33.29 to get everything. And we know that when it comes to clarity from Barbara and Paul and the rest of the team, we know that you want to get everything. So 33 pounds and a few pence plus your delivery to get everything today. Now I mentioned Paul. I should call him just Paul, shouldn't I? Just Paul. Are you there, my darling? I am indeed. Good evening. Do you remember Paul when we did our first show together? <laughs> <laughs> and, I, and I said to you, oh, is Barbara not doing the show? Because she was doing it earlier. You went, no, it's just me. So I, I got just you, didn't I, Paul? But we had a lovely time. We did. It was a great show. <laughs> it was a lovely show. So what he, obviously, I was going to say, what are you doing today? I'm, I'm thinking that you, you, you're going to say to me you've been staying in, like, like most people are. Yeah. Um, so, but what have you been doing with your... Have you been crafting or have you just been chilling out? Um, I've been picking orders because it's so busy. Um, so, um, yeah, I've been getting all the orders together so we can get them out to everybody. Yes. Um, yeah, it's been a great day. Yeah, it has been a brilliant day because, of course, we had the previous launch, didn't we, of that, that lovely stamp collection. Yeah, the stamps earlier uh, on. They went and the plates nearly went as well. So it has been a very busy day for, for, uh, for groovy plates and clarity. But let's talk about these one day specials. So I'm not sure if you were just listening then to how I sort of talked about it at the top of the show. Show, Paul, but I told everybody not to buy the one day special. Oh, um, absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> which is a bit weird to say, we're launching it, don't buy it. Uh, but that's because when you buy them all together, you get the extra saving and it, I think it's superb value. Um, so talk, talk us through the kind of, you know, motivation and the sort of design ideas behind these lovely dies. Well, the, these um, collections here, these are what we're calling our overlay collections. Yeah. And they were designed by the lovely Saffron, one of our in-house um, designers. Um, and what you've got there in front of you, each 
you've got four different sets. You've got the fabric, the geometric, the structured, and the swirls and doilies. And in each of those sets, you've got a beautiful set of four two inch by two inch quarterette dies. Yes. And then we chose two of our favorite from each of those sets and turned them into 3.85 by 3.85 larger dies. Yes. Okay. So you're going to get all of those, but and you can choose which, which one you want to go for as the one day special. But as you said, you take that saving from all four of them, and then we've given you an extra £20 saving on top of that. Yeah, which makes sense to me, because I think as well, this is like having... Um, it's like having four children and someone saying, which is your favourite? You've got to choose. And you can't really, can you? Um, you, you? I mean, they're all just so fabulous. I mean, I have to say that I do love the swirls and the doily. Um, but I, I think the thing as well is, if you are creating uh, cards for different people, I think it's always great to have different backgrounds because, for example, that dotty one there at the end, the big, or the big round circles, you know, I've got a friend who would love that. She loves contemporary cards. Uh, you could really make something fun and funky. You know, the swirls, I think if you were doing maybe children's cards and things, that could be great fun. Um, you know, but then if you're doing perhaps masculine cards, you've got your geometric shapes going on. Um, if you want something that's quite sort of pretty and dainty, maybe the first collection so I think it's I think it is important to have them all because then you can just really create can't it you? It is and the the whole idea behind them with them being called overlays is that if we look at the swirls and the um, the rings for example yeah the swirl and doily collection you'll notice from what the design team have done is that they overlay on top of one another ah. so you cut them out on two separate pieces yes and you overlay them and I did film a little intro to explain exactly how they work, and I think you've got that probably coming up. Yes. Um, but that's why we called them the overlay, so that you could put one on top of the other Brilliant. and get a completely different look. Yes. Yeah, so once again, we're giving people great value in terms of the, the, the saving on each one, but then you're offering even more value because you can use them individually or overlay them, which gives you once again those different looks every time. That's right, yeah. And again, just using different colored cards. I mean, in my first demo, I've used white cards to overlay on top, and it looks as if it's one piece. Um, I just loved working with them. They, they were just so fresh and funky and to have them as a general background I mean looking at what the design team have done is absolutely amazing yeah yeah well you can always tell when people really like what they're working with because um, they get they do loads and loads and loads of samples and we've got so many samples behind us here I mean I'm just gonna hold up um, you know this one I think this is so clever it almost looks like um, the old um, typewriter keys. Um, it's the the first collection that we've got, and it's the circles, uh, the kind of oval shape from the first collection, the fabric patterns, and it's got the word love in the middle of those uh, those ovals. And I just think that's really clever to put the letters in there. It is, and, and that's a great thing because they're sort of the aperture dies as well, and you've got these little windows. Yeah. Um, and again, because you've got sort of like the argyle pattern and then you've got the, the rings pattern and that's just overlaid. I mean, that one's actually been using, <laughs> it looks like the rings together with the um, lattice from yes. the structures collection. Yes. So this shows where they all mix and match and that's why we put the big bundle together because we knew that people would want all of them. <laughs> Exactly. Well, do you know something, Paul? We're already over 10% of the stock wow. gone. We're not even 10 minutes in. Oh um, <laughs> I, I just think it's, you know, it, when you come up with a clever idea, people go, oh, yes, I want that. And I think also as well, Paul, you know, some, some people can struggle to know where to start. And I think if you provide people with a great background, you only have to add a sentiment. Exactly, and because you've got these dyes, you use them again and again and again. So it's not like a consumable that once you've used it once, that's it. Yeah. And it will just change depending on the card that you use, the paper that you use. These are also fantastic for paper piecing or um, trap the scrap, as Barbara calls it. Um, and I've done that in, I think, I think I've done it in my first demo. Um, but they're great big pieces, so they're easy. They're not fiddly. Uh, they're just, they were great to play with. They really were. 
Yeah, they did. They th yes, they, they they're sort of statement uh, pieces, aren't they, as backgrounds? I mean, like I'm just holding this one up here with the with the circles. This is actually a shaker card, so you can see all the bits and pieces behind it. But although they are, as I said, they give you a background to work with, they are a statement in themselves, which is fantastic. That's what you want to do. You want to create pieces that people will talk about. Exactly, and you want something that's going to be quick and easy as well. Yes. Um, and that was the whole basis behind the aperture cards is that you can just cut them out and you're good to go. You just put a piece of paper behind it, one of our designer paper or parchment, and job's done. It really is as simple as that. Yeah. I mean, look, some of them, we're not even putting anything else on. I mean, we've got a little bit of bead there, but it's just the background and some, um, some layering, and that's it. Yeah, it really isn't difficult to, to play. And once you get into it, you'll just what, keep going to them again and again and again. Yeah, and like you say, the pe paper piecing, really great idea. And also just using the, the, um, the bits that come out, like there. The waste as the waste as part of the uh, the decoration absolutely lovely well thank you so much paul an absolute pleasure to talk to you i always i'm fascinated by you know the sort of thinking behind things and, and the ideas and you've already just given us some ideas there and i know that you guys have sent in lots of demonstrations for us so even if people are watching today if they watch again tomorrow morning it'll be different demonstrations which is it fantastic is, yeah i think i did about six different demos yes. to, to cover the hours yes so, yeah. yeah all different techniques with yeah them. Which is great. So thank you so much, Paul. Listen, have the rest of a good evening. Um, I'm afraid that your ordering is going to continue because we're so <laughs> busy on here that now you're going to have to switch on to this ordering. Approaching 20% of the stock gone, my lovely. So um, <laughs> get busy. I am. I better go and start packing. <laughs> you better get cracking. I look forward to seeing you next time, my love. Have yeah, the rest of care. a great weekend. See you later. Love you all. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Oh, he's such a sweetheart. So, yes, busy already. Okay, so all the details are there. If you want to go to the website, hochanda.com, you can. As I say, you can just get them individually as one-day specials with the £15 saving on each one, and that will end tomorrow at 6. But we are giving you the extra £20 saving on top of the £15 on each collection if you want to get the lot and three fabulous flexi pays. So just £33 and a few pence today. Now, Paul mentioned that in the intro video before his uh, demonstration, he does talk about how to do that layering and overlay them together. So let's Let's have a look now at what he was talking about. Hi, I'd like to introduce you to our overlay aperture dies. The whole concept behind the designs was um, an idea that Saffron, one of our in-house designers, came up with. As you may be aware, we do beautiful aperture dies, and what I mean by that is that they stay within the car blank. But what Saffron did, she came up with 12 beautiful different background designs. And she thought that if you overlaid some of them, you'll get a completely different look. So we've got four different options for you to choose from if you're going for the one day special. You've got the fabric patterns, you've got the geometric patterns, you've got the structured patterns, and you've got the swirls and the doily. Now, in each of the collections, you're gonna get a set of two by two inch, a set of four two by two dies. You, then we've chosen two of our most favorite ones from that collection and turned them into 3.85 by 3.85. Now, when you buy the one day special or the complete bundle, you're gonna get one of these included. So it gives you that ideas and inspiration for when you get it home. But let me introduce them to you in a little bit more detail. So this is the first one. This is a fabric collection. And what you can see, I've taken the two larger ones, and on this one, in the black, I've used the argyle pattern in front, and then I've put the 60s oval pattern in the background. Likewise, I've turned it in the reverse, so this time, the argyle's gone in the back, and the oval's on top. And then you can see the different concepts between the small quarterettes on how they look. So that's the first one, the fabric. Moving along, We've then got the geometric designs. So again, you've got the larger one here, you've got the vertical twists with the square framework pattern. Um, and then again, front and back, and you can see how different they look. And then when we look at the little quarterettes, these two here are the miniature versions of those. And then you've got two additional designs in that pack as well. Next, we move on to the structured pattern design. So again, 
you've got the, um, the lattice pattern on top with the circle line pattern underneath and then in reverse. And then when we look at the little miniatures, again, you can see how they work. And then in addition to that, you've then got the extra two designs there. Finally, we've got the swirls and the doily. And here you've got the swirl, the swirly overlay, and then on top, you've got the rings overlay. So that was the whole idea behind the concept of the overlay dies. Um, again, you can use them like this, but again, I keep saying again, you'll get fed up with me, keep saying again, and again, and again. But you know what? <laughs> it's so fun, it's so different trying to do this without a presenter. Um, so what you can do, you can use them independently, and you can also use them how they've been designed. So I hope that that explains exactly how they work. And over the next five hours, I'll be showcasing different ways in which you can use them to create some beautiful pieces. Oh, thank you very much, Paul, for that brilliant introduction. And as Paul just said there, yes, over the next five hours, uh, we're going to show you all the demonstrations in order, certainly for our part. So we're going to show you the first demonstration that Paul did in a matter of moments. So keep tuned for that. Um, I have to say, when we do these shows, obviously there's a lot of planning um, in, in Hochanda's world. Um, and we always have an idea of where we want to be at the end of the first hour. That's how stock is bought in, because we say, well, we think we will sell this much in the first hour and so we should allow this much stock for the 24-hour period I have to say we are at that point now so we're 16 minutes in and we are where we thought we would be with all the allocations and what's going through by the end of the hour so that's quite incredible we are very very busy so you have got your one day specials and you've got four of them on each one day special you get a 15 pound saving this collection we do realize that some people are on a budget and you may just want to buy the first collection or your favorite collection and that's absolutely fine this one is called the uh, fabric patterns it is 755196 it's 29.97 with a 15 pound saving and as you can see what Paul was saying there the quarter is then replicated a couple of those are replicated in the bigger sizes these are all brand new dies by the way so that's your first collection, and that saving will disappear tomorrow at six o'clock. It may be that actually you like this one, or you might just want to buy the first one and the second one together. This one is geometric patterns, and um, we were just saying there about the, um, the quarters and how they then are duplicated in the two. If I just turn around the die as well, you can see the actual size of it. It's the blue die, of course, from Clarity, from Fresh Cut. And uh, you can see there, that's the actual size of the die. So brilliant dies in terms of the cutability, perfect results every time, and um, great sizes as well. So, because six by six is a really nice card to do, I think. Because sometimes as well, when you if it's a five by seven card it can be a bit like oh I've got to fill a five by seven and if it's something too small then it's, you can't get enough on there six by six is actually a really it's a nice statement to make and quite easy to work with so those are the dies for that one and again a 15 pound saving until tomorrow at six o'clock seven five five one nine six your second one day special your third one day special is called the structured pattern set and you can see there how two of those patterns are replicated there you've got that kind of lattice work and and what Paul was saying was uh, that the you know they can be used with other designs that's why we've got a deal on the whole collection which I'll tell you about in a second but you can use the lattice work with any of the other ones I think and it would work um, but um, that's that collection 75196 and that is 29.97, a 15 pound saving again, brilliant. And then we go on to the swirls and doilies. This is my favorite, is this yours? I don't know, 755196 and it's swirls and doilies. And you can see once again, the two patterns there uh, are replicated from the quarter. So once again, a 15 pound saving. However, when you take the 15 pound saving, the 15 pound saving, the 15 pound saving, the 15 pound saving, that's 60 pounds. But then if you use this item number and you buy the lot, you get another 20 pound saving. Just to point out as well that this item number and all four is also in effect a one day special because those savings will disappear and your big price saving will disappear by six o'clock tomorrow. 
So 20% of the huge collection has gone. Most people are going for the lot because you're also getting flexi pay. So 33 pounds and 29 pence today is what you will pay. So how much is it for just one set? 29 something, 29.97. Or for the lot, 33 pounds and a few pence today and then you pay another three months. So if you can budget, if you was only afford 29 pounds today and you think I could stretch to 33 pounds today, and know you've got to pay that twice in the next couple of months, but maybe you've got money coming in over the next couple of months that you could then afford another 30 and another 30 or 33. Um, that's the way I would think about it in order to get the lot. So you're almost paying the same, but you're getting the lot today. So um, that's one thing to think about. The item number, if you want the lot, is 512641. The great thing about getting the lot is that when you get them all in front of you, your options are endless because not only can you use them all individually, they all overlay with each other and they all work together with each other as well. So my goodness me, you could be just creating forever um, and never go through all the combinations and don't forget as well this is a great example of using the waist so when you see the dies as they are don't forget the waist in between the dies because you can then make things from the waist like that perfect okay so paul's introduced the concept we've talked through the money they are disappearing let's have a look at the first demonstration so you can really get to grips with what you're going to do with these dies when you get them home for this demo, I'm going to be using the Structured Pattern Overlay Collection. Um, it's got the beautiful lattice uh, line together with the circle line pattern. And what we're aiming for is this card here. And if I bring this up close to the camera, hopefully you'll see. What it does, it gives the effect of it just being one die. Now I've used white on white, but in the um, sample I just showed you, I did black on white, and you can see the different effect that you get. Okay, so what I've done, I've already die cut my two pieces that I'm going to be working with. So we've got the lattice, and then we've got the circle line pattern. Now if I put the lattice on top, you can see here, if I bring my little um, demo card in, you've got a completely different look. So although the overall effect is the same, but on this one, because the lattice is on top, you've got that extra detail within those circles. Whereas for my one, I put the lattice in the background with the circle line pattern on top. So it sort of like um, gets rid of those little dots within there, okay? So I've cut those two pieces out and what we're going to do now is called a technique that Barbara came up with a while back called Trap the Scrap. And in order to do that, because when you look at all those different little elements, it is such a shame to actually throw them away. So I've got a piece of the um, Toscana um, 5x7 petite toppers. I mean, absolutely good. Toscana is my new favourite. Indian summer sort of gone out the window a little bit now and Toscana has really taken over. So I can have a look with the dye and decide whether I want more blues and greens or whether I want to go more pinks and purples. So I reckon we'll go about there. Okay, now rather than go off to the side, because really on this particular one, all I'm interested in is the scrap, okay? But you're really, you're gonna get two for one out of this one. So I could position that in the middle or I could position it at the top. So I'm gonna go round about there, okay? And we'll use some low tack tape just to hold that in place whilst we run it through the machine. Now this part I do need to do, whoops, this bit I do need to do live um, because I need to have, to show you exactly how it works. So I've put, I'm gonna run this through the machine. Now our dies work with all um, leading die cutting machines. So we're just going to run that through and I'll just bring this sample in just so we can look at it and you can see so I've got the more concentrated colour in the middle 
which is using the petite toppers. And then you've got that beautiful subtle background, which is using the 8x8 designer papers. So we're going to pop that to one side. We're going to open up our sandwich. Then we're going to carefully remove the low tack tape. Okay. And now we're going to hold it tight while we flip over. And what we're going to do is going to remove the plate and then we very, very carefully lay that flat onto our mat. Then slowly you get a little bit of static. So what Barbara tends to do is if you spritz the dye um, with some water, it stops the static. But I didn't have the spritzer bottle to hand. But you know what, it's still, there we go. Look at that, only a few bits. So we'll just carefully move, I'm going to move those out of the way. Pop that one there, pop that one there. So I know exactly where they need to go back in. So now when I turn that over, I've now got this piece which I can use on another card. You've got that lattice, is absolutely gorgeous. I mean you imagine sort of flower stamps and everything else working on that. And then what I'm going to do, I've got my groovy tool with a little bit of that um, tacky stuff that you can use on the walls just to pick up and pop back into place. Okay. Another tip you can use somebody, is um, spaghetti. Obviously not the canned variety but um, one that you put in the water. Okay so this is where two become better than one. There we go. So we can just, my fingers are a little bit chunky just to get that detail in. I'm just going to move it around just to make sure everything, was my head in the way possibly it was. Um, so you can see now this is the waist. Now I'm happy with that all being lined up, he says, I'm just going to move that one over. But you'll f see that it just falls back, leave it alone, leave it alone. Right, okay. Sometimes you, you sort of you want to fiddle too much, but you, you know what? You just go with what's in front of you. So next, what we're going to do, I've taken a piece of our um, A6 double-sided adhesive sheet, and I find it's easier, let's just push that out of the way, if I actually remove the orange side of the double-sided tape. So I'm just going to slowly peel that back. that to one side. I'm going to bring that back into play. Now another tip that Bob came with, if you use two thing fingers, 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 fingers either side, it means it gives you more control because this is super, super sticky. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to go over the top and I'm going to press down onto the die. Now I'm going to rub it in with my finger, you could use uh, an eraser pencil, because these are quite big pieces, um, it's quite easy to sort of push in and make sure you pick it all up. Then we're going to turn this over, well, that was lucky, I just caught it, and then you're going to slowly peel back. Now as you peel back slowly, if any bits stay within the die, then just push it back in place and pick them up again. Okay, so easy does it. And then, there we go, see it's just catching just there. So we're coming on the other side. Pick up those little bits on the edge. And there we have our waist. Okay, now these make fantastic little tiles as well. So if you've got some of our small um, word chain stamps, these are great for sort of putting letters on and, and stuff like that. So now that I've um, die cut that and I've got my scrap, what I'm now gonna do is bring the white piece in that we cut. Now you need to make sure that this is flat or as flat as possible. Okay, really, really sticky. And then what I'm gonna do I may have to go in with my head, so excuse my shiny head if it kicks in. But what I'm doing is I'm looking, again, I'm using that same trick of 
um, the two fingers either side and I'm just going to gently go into the centre and I can just about, there we go, I'm going to go into position there and then we're going to press that down into place. Turn it over and wipe it with your fingers and then you know you've got the complete, it's all covered. Okay. Next, we're going to take the other die and we're going to position that on top. Now to give it the impact of it being as if it's one die, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take um, my tape runner and I'm going to take um, a stick glue pen and I'm just going to put some glue just in the middle of these dots. Okay. And then I'll use my tape runner just to go along the outside edge and make sure it's going to be completely stuck down. I mean, I could have used the, the wet glue as well, but just for convenience, the, the tape runner works just as well. Then I'm going to position it, line it up. And because I've got the wet glue, so what I'm doing now is I'm lining up the inner frame. Now don't wo worry that it doesn't line up on the outer edges because we're going to get rid of, we're going to trim it. Okay, so once I'm happy that I've got that in place, so again I'm going to repeat on the back and just rub it so that it takes hold. Because obviously when I was cutting out the um, the two apertures separately, I wasn't sure exactly, what, I mean I did it by eye to get them in the middle, but you can see how it's a little bit off. But I'm not worried about that, because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring in our nested square die set, and I'm gonna take one of them, and I can now trim it back. I mean you could use um, a craft knife and a ruler, or you could use a paper trimmer or a guillotine, but I think it's nice using the dies because it gives it a real sort of nice beveled edge to it. So we'll just make sure I'm happy with positioning there. Then we'll hold that in place. And then we're gonna run that through the machine again. Okay, nice and easy, but it really does give you that real nice finish just to the edge of it. So again, you just run that through, and it doesn't take long. I mean, as I say, you can do, um, when you look here, I don't know if we can see that on camera, if I try and bring it up, I don't know if you can see, it's hard for me to see, whether you've got that beveled edge just on the edge of the die cut. So we're gonna lift that off. Carefully remove the tape. Pop that over there. Easy does it. Okay. Now because it's got the double-sided adhesive on it, fingers crossed it's cut through both pieces. Always run it through twice. There we go, look. Perfect. And I've even got a bit of the paper just there, but I'm not worried about that because what I can do is just take a pair of scissors and just trim off. I mean, I don't need to trim it off because I'm going to take the backing paper off anyway. What am I talking about? Okay, so I've gone for one of our six by six card blanks. I've taken a piece of the same design of the beautiful Toscana eight by eight paper. So I could, if I wanted to, be really sort of bold and go for it, or I can go for the more softer side, and which I'm going for here. So we're gonna attach that to our card. Again, you can use double-sided tape, tape runner, entirely up to you. So I've just trimmed it down to size. And now I can remove the backing paper from See, I don't know if you can see, I've got a little bit of a gap. See just there, where that one just moved, I didn't realise. But I'm not worried, because I've got the paper behind, that's gonna hide that anyway. 
so I'm going to position that in the centre or centre-ish and press down. So now that gives us that beautiful illusion of it just being one die. Really, really easy. Then to finish off, I'm going to use some of our sticker words. Now we've got a great set on the show where you've got the um, Clarity Christmas words Christmas and celebration stickers, we've got Leone stickers, and then we've got Barbarisms, Barbara stickers. So I went one from the Christmas and celebration collection for my one. So let's have, I think I might change it. I, on my one I've got wishing you a fabulous day, and I reckon I'm gonna go with congratulations. So all we're gonna do now is pop that in the middle, or the middle-ish, he says, Wee. doesn't want to play. And then, get that in the middle until we're happy where it's going to go. There we go, that'll do. So now I've got congratulations, and then I've got a matching one that says, wishing you a fabulous day. Oh, thank you very much, Paul, for that fantastic uh, demonstration there and no we did not see your shiny head as you said so that's uh, positive there. Um, sticker sheets these are the ones that he was talking about there they're so brilliant these um, so as he was saying there you've got Christmas barbarisms and you've got Leone's as well what is fabulous about these is that you actually have sort of interconnecting words so um, where did I just see I just oh I just saw one and it was an intercate, it was something like, yeah, well, for you, so you could have something with it. Um, or, hang on, peace at Christmas, love is all we need. But there was some, there was like an interconnecting phrase, I must, maybe the other one that I saw. Um, but um, they're really fantastic there because they're things that you, you know, wouldn't necessarily think of and they come in black and white. And you get four of each of those as well. So they are really fabulous. Just peel them off. So instead of having to have dyes and things that you make those words out of, you just use those. And that, by the way, is my official favourite Christmas song ever. All I want for Christmas is you. As soon as it comes on, I'm like, yes, that's it. Why do I feel like it's going to be Christmas before we know it and not much will have happened in between? Anyway, if you would like to get hold of those three sets of stickers, they are there. The details are on your screen. 27.97 instead of 33.97. Now, I'm just going to show you some more cards because I think the proof is in the pudding, as they say. Um, and it is all about using the right tools. And when you get the right tools, which these dies are because they've been designed by experts in their field, then you can make lots of wonderful cards. And and as Paul has been saying, it's about layering them. It's about mixing them together. Um, you can just use them with a simple sentiment. You can just use them by themselves with some jewels. You don't need a lot else. I mean, even that as a piece is really cool, upside down. Also, when you use them with words, very clever. So you just simply put the words in or that's great isn't it that reminds you of typewriter keys um, and then if you just want to use the pattern like i say as its statement piece by itself and of course you've got your stickers here from the sticker books um, another one here you can see and think about the waste think about layering them up with other collections i mean so many of you are going for the entire collection the complete collection here's the waste so you can see that's the kind of you know chain mail effect and then you've got the waste from it, which now becomes the card itself. And then things like that. So they are really brilliant dies to have. Let's just remind you again, it's four one day specials. Each one day special has a 15 pound saving. So that's great, 60 pounds if you buy all of them, plus another 20 if you buy all of them. So the first collection, it's all the same item number, isn't it? 755196. And then you just choose which collections you want to go for. So the first one in front of me is called the fabric patterns. You've got geometric patterns. You have structured patterns. And then at the end, you've got your swirls and doilies there. And I love that swirl and doily uh, collection. And you can see the quarters take two of the patterns and enlarge them to that full size. Um, but if you want to buy the complete collection, 15, 15, 15, 15 pound saving plus another 20 pound saving. And we give you three flexi pays as well. 
So a quarter of that entire complete collection has gone. A lot of people are going for the complete collection tonight. And I think it's because if you buy one collection, it's 29 pounds and a few pence with the saving. But if you buy the lot and put it on FlexiPay, it's 33 pounds and a few pence. And I know you've got to pay that again in a month and a month. But today you're paying almost the same, but you're getting all of the collections. And I know that people love Clarity. And the thing is that they know that Clarity designed things to go together. And that's what Paul has been saying. It's about using them by themselves. It's about combining them. And then it's about overlaying as well. So if you think about that, the options are absolutely endless. Well, talking about endless options, we've got so many demonstrations for you. Do keep watching the one day special tomorrow throughout the day if you want to see all the different demonstrations because they've worked really hard, the team, to make sure that we keep you entertained. Let's have a look at the second demonstration now from Paul again using the complete collection. For my next demo, I'm going to use the swirls and doily collection. So again, you can see here you've got the beautiful ring pattern and then you've got the lovely swirls pattern as well. Now in addition to that, also in the quarterettes, you're going to get these two beautiful designs here. I mean, look how different they look, very sort of um, French and sort of lacy and sort of ooh la la. Well, that's what I think anyway. Um, but I'll go with the, um, the rings, what the doily one on this one, the rings. Um, so what we're going to do is, this is where we are heading. So we've got this card here, and if I bring that up, very, very simple, but I think it's quite modern and quite funky. Um, and it's just using black card um, and some of our beautiful one, Maya Falls designer paper, the 8x8. But I think it's so fresh and, and bright, especially sort of, I think it sort of, it suits any sort of really sort of like a, a young person, an old person. It's very zesty. Okay, so where do we start? So what I'm gonna do, I've taken um, one of our um, five by five card blanks and I'm gonna put some white paper underneath so you can see. And what I've done is rather than sort of put it on central, I've, I've put it at a jaunty angle um, because it, I mean, look at that. I mean, it's just all those, it looks like bubbles, um, but it, it's great and all the bits that fall out Look, I've got some here, look, you could use these, whoops, you could use these as embellishments as well. Um, if you cut them out in paper, you could sort of dome them so that they look like uh, false brads. And you've got all different sizes, so you could potentially, he says if we can pick them up, you could, if you did all these different colors, I mean, to me they look like chocolate buttons. But you can see you could sort of do real sort of, real funky, these are great for your sort of like your mixed media. So what we're going to do is, I've, I've done cut that out already, um, rather than sort of spend the time running it through the machine. Um, and that gives me my base to which I'm going to work on. Next, I've taken a piece of the Waimea Falls um, designer paper. And again, look, I mean, just look that on there. It's so fresh and funky. And I can decide exactly what way, whether I want more sort of the smaller ones to have. It just changes the, I think it does, it changes the look of it, of how it works. What I've also done to give the illusion of sort of matting and layering is I've taken some of our fresh cut nested squares and I've cut out a frame using the same paper as well. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to offset that on top and it doesn't matter that it overlaps on the outer part, it just gives it a different finish. So what we'll do is we'll attach this first. So again, I can go with the more vibrant side or I could go with the more softer side on the paper. So I'm gonna take a wet glue and we're just gonna go along the edge. Whee! Trying to stay on the edge rather than go onto the paper. And then we're gonna pick that up. And again, because it's a wet glue, it's easier to position in place. So we're gonna pop that down there, press down gently, and I can move it around a bit so I can sort of slide it down. This comes down a little bit further. All fingers and thumbs. And then 
once I'm happy, I can sort of press that down. So again, that adds another sort of element to the design. So the next step would be to bring the designer paper in. But in this collection, you're also gonna get the beautiful swirls as well. I mean, this is great. I mean, you could chop this up and all the bits that fall out as well are great to use. So let's have a look. If I went, for example, we've got that one there, but look how different that looks. It's quite trippy, isn't it? So I'm <laughs> just looking on the, the screen to see what it looks like on camera. When you compare that with that, I mean, for me, that looks like all different um, planets and because of the paper that I've used. But what happens if we pop that underneath, we get it up the right way, look, it just changes it again completely. So it's like a, a two for one. I mean, I love those little swirls in there as well. Um, and this is just keeping it very, very simple. Um, and that's what I love about these actual designs, that the way Saffron's created them, that they work separately or they work perfectly as, a, as a, an overlay. So we'll stick, stick to the plan with what we're going with. So I've taken one of our um, car blanks that we've also got on the show, and I'm now gonna attach the paper. So tape runner, double-sided tape, whichever sticky instrument you prefer to use. And then we're gonna position that. So you can see I've already trimmed it down. So I've got a real nice frame around the outside. And then we're gonna to go to this one here. And we'll just put some tape just along the edges. Okay. And then just so that it doesn't sort of stick up in the middle, we're just gonna put some wet glue. It's, I find wet glue so much easier on the more intricate areas. It doesn't need much, it's just to, to hold it in place. Then we'll bring that into play, and now I can decide. So that's actually going on straight. I'm gonna pop that down there. And so that I don't catch those edges, I'm gonna turn it over and just rub from the back. Because it's just a lot easier to do that and then you're not gonna catch anything. Okay, so we've got our piece there. And then again, for me, the sticker words, we've got a great selection on the show. You can buy them individually, but then we've also got them as a complete bundle. Um, so we've got Word Sticker Collection by Barbara Gray, so lots of barbarisms in there. Then we have the Clarity Christmas and Celebrations Collection. And then we have the lovely Leone Collection as well. So for this one, I'm gonna go with um, some barbarisms. So let's have a look. So you've got a real nice selection. You've got One Day at a Time, uh, Don't Worry, Be Happy, um, keep calm and carry on. Um, love of my life. Hugs, kisses and sweet birthday wishes. So let's have a look. So you've got them in black and then you've also got them in white as well. Um, thank you for being my friend. Grace. Oh, there's so many to choose from. So I'm going to stick with the plan. And on my one, I went with You Are Fabulous. So we're just gonna take that off from there. We'll pop that to one side. And now this is where you can go really sort of jaunty. It's sort of, because I've put it at a twisty angle, when I was trying to finish it off, see, I mean, I could go down here. It sort of, you get that illusion. So I'm gonna follow the illusion and I'm gonna put it on at an angle across that circle just there. So there we go. So you've got that one there and you've got that one there. I mean, these would be great for like wedding invites, party invites, um, but I, I just think the colorways and the actual design are just so modern and fresh. Um, and there you go, another one done for you. I love that one. Do you know what's interesting about seeing Paul work as well is 
that he cuts the dies and then he uses um, paper underneath and colors and just to see how things transform by just using a different shape and a different color so I think that's a top tip to take away is that when you cut out your dies and I, th I think it's a, a good idea to cut them out in black um, is, is cut them out and then just look at card color and just layer things over and you know use your designer papers and and then just sort of see how it looks and you'll get ideas I think just from doing that um, I'll show you the designer papers actually on the website it's the pick and mix uh, there you are you've got uh, eight by eight designer papers uh, pick and mix choose two with a free eight by eight folder worth 7.99 for 25.96 and there they all are so you literally put a couple of those into your basket and then get that great deal um, I just wanted to show you a couple of demos a couple of um, ideas um, for what you can make because of course finish samples Yes, you can do things like that, which is beautiful. And we're talking about cards and we're talking about just using the dies in their kind of simplest form and layering them and just using a jewel or a sentiment or the lattice or heart shapes. But I've got another couple of things here. Look at this. I think that is extraordinary. It's from Wendy look at that yeah now if I just show you in there you see yeah so she's got if I go like that look you can see all those it's like an aquarium isn't that fabulous with that let lettuce with that lattice and then wait for your socks to be blown off so this had a band around it holding it together so of course I took the band off and I thought oh is that a card okay mm -hmm. Take off the lid. There's your board. Right. Oh! Hello! I mean, come on! Are you kidding me? I'm now going to play Noughts and Crosses with myself. But isn't that absolutely brilliant? That is brilliant. So you can actually make a little board game as well if you wanted out of the dies. I think that's fabulous. Let me just pick up that one. Um, so that's just a couple of ideas. It's not just about cards. So think outside the box. Right, listen, we're going to go in a few minutes. So I just want to um, go through the, the pricing with you and explain again, um, because it's really important that you understand the value. So four one day specials one two three four all utterly brand spanking new you get your die collections in each of them and you can see the quarters two of those patterns are blown up to be the bigger die so that it's the same item number seven five five one nine six that one is called fabric patterns then your next collection here is called geometric patterns for obvious reasons the next collection is structured patterns and finally which is the one that Paul was just using swirls and doilies so those each are your collections same item number just choose which one now each of those has got a 15 pound saving which is fabulous 29.97 today is what you will pay to get each of your one day specials however if you like the lot you get the £15 saving, the £15 saving, the £15 saving, the £15 saving, and a £20 saving on top as well. And then we give you flexi pay. So today, you pay £33 and a few pence instead of £29 and a few and you get everything instead of just one collection. And know the £33 and a few pence comes out again in a month and a month's time. But most of you are kind of working out in your head, well, if I can afford 29 today, I may as well pay 33 today. I know I've got to find it in a month and a month, but in a month more money will have come in or whatever. And you've got all your dies and you can sit and play. And let's face it, we've got time to play. So if you want to get hold of the complete collection, remember the one day savers and the complete collection, sorry, the one day special and the complete collection, the savings will disappear tomorrow at six o'clock. But maybe the stock will go first because most people are going for the entire collection. And now we're over a quarter of the stock. On. The entire collection is 512641 and that is nearly 25% of the entire stock has gone. If you want to order, now we're going 
go to the website hostchannel.com, pick up the phone and give us a call and um, 01733 Choose in tomorrow for lots more demonstrations, all new videos, because Barbara and Paul have worked really hard to make sure they bring you different demonstrations for every single show, so you won't get bored and get lots of inspiration. You can also look on the rewind button as well on the website, hochannel.com. I'm going to go. It's been a pleasure having your company. I'm going to be back on Wednesday morning, bright and breezy, but of course, there's plenty more till then here on Hochanda. Night-night.